Romancer. Yeah. So, uh, what say you? You've moved in pride. You've taken a little bit of damage. I think I'll just attack this guy. I mean, I don't like the cut of his jib. <clears throat> and, uh, he, he he seems like he, not a good sort. I see the box in front of him. It looks like uh, mm -hmm. it looks like my dear friend Ernst's possession. So uh, I'm just gonna try and end this. Standing amidst the fire, robes of flame. Okay. Always have to read these things every time to remember what they are. <laughs> take, take, take your time, bud. We're in right, right. We're yes, good shape. Uh, yeah, a brilliant ray of light shines towards your face. Yes, uh, I, I pull out my holy symbol. It's hanging around my neck, and and and, and entreat the lady Serenine to uh, grant me her divine power, and I pom pummel him with a, a lance of faith, Dave. Ooh, very nice. Nice guys, do not do not favor me today. You know, as yeah, as the bolt of energy leaves your hand, he basically just very swiftly and very gracefully kind of just sidesteps it, and he says, All right, can I "Be ready to meet your maker." What can you do on an action point, Dave? Can I do that again? Uh, you I'm can, uh, as, as long as you don't use the same me. power, you can you can take another ma action. You just can't use the same okay. one. All right, I got Unfortunately. You. All right, and uh, I'll use my daily. Uh, let me. See. I, no, I'm not going to use my daily. I'll just use sacred flame on him. Oh God! You fools are the one that Urtent Crux sent. Did he not send you? He's too stupid to hire proper mercenaries, unlike my mercenaries that I have. Had. <laughs> We're not hired by uh, uh, my I friends quip. of his. You've stolen his possessions. I quip says each of that sentence. Had. Had? Ha! A couple of cutthroat drunks from the purple pony in Brindle is not going to stop the power of the underworld. Alright, so, ooh, wow, Sacred Flame is a miss as well. He looks at yeah. He looks at you, Pride, and says, "Your radiant power has no effect on me." We shall see about that. All right. So let's see. Uh, it is a uh, let's see the the goblin. He's not doing shit. I'm I'm just gonna take him out of the, the tracker. Oh, uh, let's see. We're back up to uh, yeah. We have uh, now. Um, all of a sudden, back through the room uh, comes a, a skeleton, and you can see the skeleton charging in. Uh, he is wielding uh, he is wielding a long sword, okay. and he you know basically charges through Malareth. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. All right, he gets to about right here. And I think uh, that's going to be it. That's his. That's his max movement. So the seeker, you are up. Okay, I hear the shouting uh, that uh, and Fail told me about the. Uh, this the is going to be. A, this is going to be a way, great so fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like uh, s stop in my in the middle of my run and just like uh, turn right around and like Scooby Doo. Legs ticking, you know, the other way. Hand solo, the hand <laughs> solo turnaround. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The hand solo turnaround, and uh, and uh, double move back to where it was. Okay, the goblin looks at you and just kind of looks at you and shrugs his shoulders as he's you know bound and he's obviously trying to say something with the uh, the you know the, the gag in his mouth. I flip him the bird as I run by, and uh, that's it for my move. Okay. Stay out of the fire. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't go into the fire. I'm not in the fire. Another skeleton bursts into the room. This skeleton here is also wielding a long sword. Uh, it is uh, charging into the room. Next, Malareth is up. Now, Malareth, as he is as he is chanting these you know these necrotic incantations and his hands are starting to glow his eyes are, are, are starting to glow he he 
emits an energy and basically burst out from him, sort of like sort of like a thunder wave type of burst. And it actually comes out uh, from him, and it basically is going to... Uh, you see his minions. His minions, they actually start to enlarge just a little bit, and it looks like the, they've got more fervor in them as well. So now oh, his shit. his minions look like they are uh, energized uh, uh, somewhat. And also, as this happens, a streak of green energy juts across the room and hits the wall behind you and explodes. Now, as this thing explodes, it explodes with like a, a, a green... I want to say like a green fire or a green flame, and it just basically engulfs the area. So I'm going to uh, target both you and I. Okay, and I'm going to do an attack roll. Alright, so let's see, my death burst is going to be a hit. On ma uh, a hit Pride. on Pride, and a let's see, would a 15 hit you as well? No. Well, what a 15 wouldn't hit you. I okay. No. Nope. So it, the 16 would definitely hit Pride. So let's go ahead and do damage well, now. The 15 hit me anyways. Yeah, the 15 did. So, all right, let's do damage. Holy so shit. you will take uh, from the from the necrotic death burst. You'll take a total of 13 necrotic damage, Pride. That makes you bloodied, okay? Indeed, sir. Now, also, as a free action, these two skeletons are also going to shift one square closer to you. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. That is, uh, that is the first thing that I want to do, and I, I think I'm going to go ahead and I am going to move to about right here get in plain view of I, I am going to action point, and I am going to cast a ray at I. Through all of his shit on the table and the fire. <laughs> and I being dumb probably okay. bears his chest towards it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. This ray streaks across the room at you, hitting you with a 23 versus armor class. I'm sorry, just a 23 versus fortitude. So you will take a total almost max damage. You'll take 14 necrotic damage, and you are now immobilized, meaning you cannot move. Of course. You're immobilized until the end of Malareth's next turn. So that's it for Malareth this round. So now I have, uh, let's see, Vane, you are up, sir. Vay, you see a skeleton start to enter this room down to the south. You can hear the bones creeping as it, as it comes into the room. Vane, you can go ahead and go, sir. And then it ends its turn right here. Fa fail. Okay, so Vane... What is uh vein I can't hear. Okay. Be careful, let's Hunter's quarry on Malareth. Uh and uh careful attack. So alright. Take he'll take uh some damage, he'll take a total of fourteen damage on Malareth. Uh he appears to be fine. Alright, uh Vane, what else? Anything else for you, sir? Any movements? Anything? I move to intercept the skeleton coming. Okay. All right. Sounds good. This this skeleton wears no armor, ve, no shield, just has a long sword. As the bones are clattering, as it's you know, walking as uh, running as fast as it can towards you, and its bones are clacking, its its jaws flapping. <laughs> You know the 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 jawbones sort of like a uh, clicking and clacking. Let's see what uh let's see what you do there, Fail. All right, target with a piercing strike. 
Okay. I mean, a slight flourish. Okay, a slight flourish. Nice, nice critical. That is a critical. That is uh, very clutch, too. All right, so let's go ahead and roll damage. What do I do with the uh, crit? Will it automatically do it? It yeah. will yeah. It'll automatically add in your magic item okay. bonus, everything. All right, so with your magic item plus everything, uh, you hit the skeleton for 19, uh, and uh, you took a rather large chunk of, uh, of its rib cage and basically just sliced it right off of uh, right off of the spine <clears throat> okay so I uh, you are immobilized so when you are immobilized I believe you get uh, you get one action let me double check immobilized real quick I've been playing 5e so much I have to uh, kind of uh, can't glance move, at these um, can't reposition but it's not paralyzed. You can still stand up, pull yep. an item, attack normally. Yep. You just can't uh, move. You know? Yeah, it, it doesn't say that it reduces my actions at all. Hmm. So uh, instead of... I would still have a stirred in two miners, I guess. Yeah, if this, that's what you want to take, yeah. Go for it. Uh, the Rune of Mending... On um on pride yeah runa mending on pr yeah runa mending on pride okay that's definitely within a burst five so go ahead and and drop that on <clears throat> hey what's up Cobalt what's up Sly Oh, did I not target him? Uh, it doesn't look I don't. Like it doesn't look like you can just drop it on on Pride also if you wanted to do that. Oh, I I had <laughs> had Pride <clears throat> selected instead of my character. There we go. Nope. No, okay. Nah, I feel like what, what, how does this uh, strike me? Uh, Hang on, I got a. I watched over. <laughs> uh, basically, I inscribe uh, a green rune in the air, and from it bursts a wave of energy, uh, washing over all my allies. Um, okay. Yeah, all my allies. And then we all get. I'm gonna act. I'm gonna go into protection mode. So uh, if you're adjacent to me, um, you get plus one AC or plus one. Hang on. Rune of protection. While okay. adjacent to you, allies <coughs> gain resist two to all damage. Okay. So if you're next to me, uh, all your damage is, is going Fantasy to be reduced by two. But Very nice, Cobalt. On you. Very nice. Dave, I, I, we don't have one for that one. Yeah, but that's yeah. We'll have to we'll have to work on those. We just have to remember it. Yes. Okay. So How long does that, it last? Um, next I'm, turn, right? As long as I'm. Oh, you're in a stance, right? As long as I'm right? in rune okay. Yeah. As long as I don't shift out of this uh, out of this rune uh, mastery. It, it's up for the duration of the okay. encounter. Right. I have um, to be adjacent to you, though. Right. right. Uh, the the defense plus one on you is until the end of my next turn. Okay. Um, that's from the Rune of Mending. Uh, that was my minor. I'm going to second wind myself as my standard. Because you get that as a as a dwarf, right? Now, as yeah. a uh, yeah. oh, you only get yeah as training, a human. Right? So yeah, you, it would cost your your action. So. Yeah, it's my standard, yeah. right? Yep, yep. I, I don't know why I was thinking you were a dwarf there. I was like, well, wouldn't you get that as a minor? But no, that's the seeker, sorry. Well, I was got one dwarf in here. I was looking at, yeah, I was looking at the wrong token. I get this, I don't know, I just get your two tokens mixed up. <clears throat> All right, and then as my second minor, I will reach out and inscribe a, a second rune directly onto uh, 
the seeker basically as a shield of power rises up in front of him Excellent, thank you. Alright, so you got defense six until the end of my next turn. Good luck. Alright, hey. uh, Pride, you're up. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm going to release a burst of divine energy as I channel Sehanin's uh, holy power within me, and uh, I'm going to use it daily uh, as a standard action. Okay. <clears throat> Beacon of hope, I would I would assume. Oh God! Two oh, nice misses two misses! Now. Wow! How beautiful is uh, that? Your burst oh, of divine see. energy was just uh, shit. Just as a it's just a fizzle, as Malareth, man, he he is just completely bombarding you. You know, telling you that you're that you are fixing to meet your true maker. Your divine magic proves to be futile against the power of the underworld. I'll take that <clears> off <throat> as a daily, and as a minor, I'll use another daily. <laughs> okay. I'll use bless. Uh, I don't know. I, damn, I forgot to put the... Can you give it back to me, Dave? I didn't drop anything on the... Oh, uh, what, uh, what's that? What you need back? Uh, I need bless back. Oh, yeah, you can, you can just go into preparation. Just click preparation, bottom left. And then from mode. Click yeah, click mode. mode. Yeah, you'll go to preparation, and then you I can just go in there, and then just I, I go back into combat mode. Do I need line of sight with this thing, uh, or what? It's a twenty twenty burst. Yeah, yeah. You you'll be able to hit like I and the seeker, but the corners are going to pro prohibit Vane from getting anything because he's way oh. back way back there. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's uh, it. Was a burst of three, right? The first one was. Yeah. And then you're going to do what? Uh, healing words. You're, oh, no. Bless. bless that's bless, right. Bless man, is you're, verse 20. Man, that's, that's, that's music to a DM's ears. Burning two dailies in a round? I like it. So each uh, ally in your burst of. Uh, oh, let's see. No, it's already exists on me. Okay. No. There you go. Whew, wow. And yeah, I'll take a move. Don't forget, you guys got the. All right. Sounds good. You guys got your second wins as well, so go ahead and uh, whenever you're done, Pride, go ahead and hit. Next, we'll go to round three. I don't have the turn tracker up. Hold on. No, oh, there it is. There All right. So the skeletons. Uh, this skeleton is going to move into combat range of of Pride. It is. No, it is me. going to swing its long sword at you and hit you at with a. Ball with a 25 versus AC. Yeah, the is. longsword does a total of 9 damage to you, uh, taking you to 14. Yeah, you're, you're not quite bloodied. So the Seeker is up now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to... The flames are still doing damage, I, I would Correct, guess. Correct, yeah, the, the flames are still going for sure. But I know that that I is protecting me with some of his rune magic. So running through here, um, I wouldn't take any damage because I'd be adjacent to him. Yeah, we're the assumption. Yeah, just re, re, yeah, you're gonna take one uh, d six damage for going through it, and then yeah, I okay. forgot to give uh, I his one d six damage, so that's no problem. That was on me. Yeah, you did. You uh, gave me one d six. Not at the beginning of this round. Last round I did. Yeah, you did. No, we were only on the first round. <clears throat> oh, it's the second round. Yeah, oh, yeah. but it's but now now take into consideration this purple square in front of you. That's the cauldron. So when yeah, you right, enter the room, yeah, that. you're gonna have to go around that. So yeah, I I can go through. Uh, ice Him. Uh, yep, you can. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I just duck under you. So if you want to go into the room, I'll give you one d six damage from the from the fire. But it does look like it is okay, subsiding a little bit. Okay, you take a total of two fire damage. Hey, so Dave, I'll give you two. Now, mm -hmm. two, I, now I minus was... two because I've got resist because I was adjacent to I, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cool, I don't, don't take it. So you'll, you'll just basically negate the damage. 
Excellent. <clears throat> so I, I run up here mm -hmm. and I assume the spiral stance, and I'm going to uh, wow. do a masterful spire, spiral, and uh, which is basically a, a uh, it's a with a sudden burst of motion you deliver crushing kicks and punches of sonic force by enemies. So I'm like attacking the air and like not even coming close but You're a close burst force. of two. So Basically the close, close burst, burst of two means that it's centered off of you and everything right. to out. So you're going to hit the skeleton and you're going to hit Malareth. So That's the idea. Go, yep, target both of them and attack their reflex. Holy shit that damage is ridiculous. Wow. Hopefully you can hit these guys. I'm 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 hoping you do. Oh my god. It is a double miss. Your masterful spiral break. Ugh. Well, they, they they at least take half damage. So, that's something, I guess. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, how do I do how do I do half damage on this one? Just uh just click uh way, yeah, no? just click damage, yeah, and it'll it'll take it in half. Okay. There it is. It is uh a total of 19 damage, and let's see, it'll be cut in half, that'll be a total of 8, and I'll go ahead and add that to 3 in my uh, Let's see, 19 divided by 2 rounded down would be 9 plus 19, 18, yeah, it'd be 9, yep. It's 8. Mm. Yeah, 8, yeah. We'll go, let's see, skeleton number 3. All right, and Malareth, add nine more to him. Okay, so as I, uh, I do have an effect on that as well. Uh, and this is something that uh, I assume the spiral stance, and until that stance end, my reach with melee touch attacks increases by one. <coughs> okay. And right. I'm going to um, give center flurry to blows, just a little extra uh, t to Malareth. Okay, the with, your, with your extra reach for Masterful Spiral. As your hands kind of come out, uh, extend way out like Mr. Potato Hands, stretchy <laughs> arms or something. Dalphine, Mr. Fantastic. All right, so he is, and uh, yeah, he's hit. He's, he's, he's taken, a, taken a little bit of damage. He, he appears to kind of be staggering around as he as he appears to be in a in a bloody condition now. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to make your day Dave because I'm going to use my other daily. Mm -hmm. My <laughs> supreme flurry which allows me after my flurry of blows. So, result, are you using your last action I point? It's not an action point, it's another free. Oh, okay. Supreme I flurry I is Yep. Yeah, that's free. Okay, got I it. I shift Whoa. half my speed and use flurry of blows power again. So I'm going to shift and then use Flurry of Blows one more time. Nice. Uh, shift here and give him a little extra for the road. Nice. You got a badass up in here. I, mean, and, yeah, uh, I like it. And and now I'm going to action point and use uh, oh my God. five storms on these two fools. Ooh, fools, too. Come on, now. Let's do it, Seeker. <laughs> Nice hit, um, nice hit oh, on, yeah, nice hit. Uh, against yeah, against uh, oh, the, no, skeleton. the skeleton, you miss Malareth, yeah. Crap. As he kind of pushes you away, he says, "Ah, you, you stupid drunken monk! You should stick to drinking out of the barrels at the monastery." Ah, uh, you're so disturbing to me. As he kind of pushes you away, and and your attack misses him. That's all right. Well, I'll give uh, another little extra for the uh, the mm. skeleton here. Mm. You're a strong one there. You'll actually be quite a companion to join my I've undead had... army. <laughs> uh, I had a busy round, so I think that's it for me. Ah, uh, well, that's crazy. good. Myself <laughs> and my lord Orcus will all feast on your souls because you are not heroes. You are all losers. And you will join my undead army as I attack Brindle in the future. Losers. Really? Yes. You're losers. That's not nice. Man, the Seeker burnt up like all of his actions. I love that shit, dude. All right, so skeletons. Skeleton number three, man. You've got his. You know, you've got his attention. He is going to attack you, uh, and 
hits with a crit. So that is a beautiful Bye, thing. Right. Bye. Yep, so let's go ahead and give you maximum damage, which would be 13. And the Seeker goes down to goes negative down. 2. The Seeker is down, and Malareth, he just kind of sticks, he stands there, puffs his chest out, and he says, Ha! Orcus is smiling in his throne as he watches through my eyes. You will all make great minions in my army. And then he turns over towards Pride and points, and he says, You're next. Hmm. All right, bring it on. All right, so Malareth, let's uh, let's roll a five to six recharge, maybe. Oh my God! Got it. Something recharged. Uh, what is that? What is that that you do? Uh. All right, so first off, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to I am going to go ahead and take my movement, and I'm going to take an attack of no, I'm not going to take the attack of opportunity from the seeker. I'm going to bow around the you know the corner of the, of the cauldron and still keep you pride in my in my sight. Now, I am going to go ahead and cast a ray upon you. This is the same type of 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 energy that shot out of his hand that basically immobilized I right in his tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and range 10, uh, plenty, uh, low tables, nothing else really impeding the way. Uh, I've got a plus one bonus, and I will attack you, Pride. A 19 versus Fortitude, which is a hit. Pride, you will take a total of 13 necrotic damage. And now you are immobilized, my friend, until the end of Malarith's next turn. And you are now bloodied. So Malarith uh, dips around the corner. Malarith is uh, out of uh, harm's way for the time being. Still chuckling. Seems very proud. Calling you all fools. You're not heroes. And uh, that the dwarf Urton will never get what belongs to he and Orgus. Skeleton number two attacks. Vey. Vey, you're down here in the hall by yourself. This skeleton lashes out with its longsword and misses with a 17. Vane, Oakenhelm, you are up, sir. Vane draws his black arrow in the... In the the menagerie and whispers to it please do not fail me now careful attack on Mal the icky so who is who is he attacking you are not attacking Mal yeah, Earth. can't yeah you move into the fire yeah you are yeah you're way back there you've got a cauldron it, in the way that was the cauldron yeah block. the cal yeah you the could, cauldron you, move, you can move and do that right I don't know. yeah so you can, I mean, if you want to move into the room, you know, that was the whole reason of, of him moving out of the way. He wanted to get out of the ray of that, the way of that arrow that uh, nailed his ass. All right, so I'm going to give you three fire damage, Vane, as you, as you enter the chamber. Minus two for passing me. So... You've moved in, uh, let's see, what, yeah, I've already taken care of that. Okay. Let's see, uh, what was your total movement? Where were you at before? He moved six pieces. Six? Okay, that sounds good. All right, so yes, you, you can, uh, you can hit, uh, which you did hit, Malareth. No, oh, seven, seven, sorry. All right, and with your Hunter's Quarry... You strike an arrow directly in the neck of Malareth as he as he grabs his neck and blood is just squirting out between his fingers. He rips the arrow out and he says, Orcus! Orcus! 
You have failed me. You have failed my minions.